Hello and welcome to another episode of SESU TV News. I'm Wilson Belois. And I'm Benjamin Coombs. We have a great lineup for you today, including stories from homecoming, sports, and more. Monday, October 21st was the start of the week of commemoration. The opening ceremony remembered the first enslaved Africans brought to the British colonies in 1619. Our own Trinity Collins has more. On Monday, October 21st, Senator Connecticut hosted night one of the 1619 week of commemoration. The event remembers the first enslaved Africans brought to the British colonies, starting the 250-year engagement of child slavery. Along with special guest Mayor Harp was journalist Professor Frank Harris III and SESU President Joe Bertolino. President Bertolino talked about the importance of the event. Our students, quite frankly, our white students and, and students who are not members of the African-American or black community um, also need to learn about this history and the importance of this history and the impact this had on the lives of others and the impact our own ancestors had on an entire race of people. The opening ceremony was headlined by BET News host and social justice advocate, Dr. Mark Lamont Hill. After the event, he discussed the need for people to be available for the rest of the week. I think they should come to every event that's available this week, whether we're talking about pure history analysis or whether we're talking about cultural events, whether we're talking about organizing and activist events. The work of this week is the work of freedom, and we need to be there. I'm Trudy Collins from SESU TV. This past Sunday, the men's cross-country team traveled to Jamesville, New York to defend their Northeast 10 Conference Championship. The top finisher in the 8K, senior Connor Shanahan, ran 27 minutes, 26.5 seconds, and was awarded All-Conference First Team. In the end, Southern Connecticut finished third overall in the championship meet. The Mighty Owls will be back in action on November 9th in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the East Regional Championship. Be sure to check them out. The SDSU Programs Council commits itself in providing programs to enrich the experience of every student on campus. On October 23rd, it continued with the annual Fall Fest. Jesse Fuentes has more on that story. This year's annual Fall Fest was organized in Lot 3 behind Con Hall. Hosted by ProCon, there were lots of autumn-themed events to bring in the season. There were delicious fried Oreos, inflatable fun runs and axe throwing, and pumpkin decorating. Free t-shirts and apple cider were also given out. The event drew in students from all over campus excited to start the season with a bang. From SESU TV, I'm Jesse Fuentes, wishing you a warm autumn season. Soup and Substance is a series where students are given the opportunity to view African American movies. The purpose of the series is to relate the films to events that are occurring in our daily lives. The event takes place on the Monday, November 4th at 7 p.m. in Engelman A120. It was a spooky season on Southern's campus, and the haunted Halloween reading brought out the spirit. Hosted by Folio, students had a chance to share their spooky work, followed by an open mic. Students were also encouraged to wear costumes to the event. Outfits ranged from a bald eagle to Super Mario. Folio thanks all who attended and wished everyone a fun and safe Halloween. Kicking off homecoming this Saturday was the Bob Corda 5K race. The annual event is sponsored by Stoll Enterprises and brought together the Southern, Southern and New Haven community. Friday, November 8th, Southern Connecticut celebrates 50 years of nursing education excellence, honoring our legacy and shaping the future of nursing. This milestone will be recognized with a celebratory event attended by past and present student and faculty. The event takes place at the Adante Student Center Ballroom at 4 p.m. Tickets can be found at the link below. Coming off Hispanic Heritage Month, the Organization of Latin American Students hosted Noche de Gala. This magical night helped generate money for scholarships for incoming freshmen. Our own Trinity Collins has more. The Organization of Latin American Students hosted one of the biggest events of the year, Noche de Gala. This event brought people from the outside community together to experience the Latin culture of Venezuela. In the Adante Student Center, the magical night brought food, informational discussions, and a dance performance from the Olas dance team. Along with OLAS was a multicultural organization. The coordinator of affairs, Diane Brown Albert, provided her comments on the event's importance. 
Because it helps our students feel as though they belong. Um, you give them a sense of belonging as though they belong here on campus. When you connect them with their culture, it becomes um, a home away from home for them. So these events are extremely important because they help to connect students um, together and just appreciate and value diversity and just value their own culture. But the event could not have been possible without one of its main contributors. Assistant Director of Transfer Student Advising and OLA's advisor, Anna Rivera Alfaro, discussed how Noche de Gala came to be. So I've been with OLA since about 2008, and at that time it was more of a masquerade ball, uh, a way to raise money for the organization for trips and activities. And about a year after that, the um, organization decided that they really wanted to do something where they could give back to the Latino community and they used this event, they called, now they call it Noche de Gala, and they raised money for scholarships. So each year we select a different country to honor, to celebrate, and, um, and we raise money for scholarships for incoming freshman students. I'm Trudy Collins from SESU TV. As most of you know, we recently lost a life on Southern's campus. We would all just like to take a moment to honor the life and death of Sean Gallo. Please contact us if you have anything you want us to report on. I'm Wilson Valois. And I'm Benjamin Coombs. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or feel free to email us. Thank you all for watching.